Kids, good morning. I'm up very early today. It's a uh, toasty 34 degrees here in the outback of Florida. Today I want to talk about gay Super Bowl. Now, um, in the news this week, um, it's been very prominent that we have some San Francisco 49er players that are very anti-gay. Um, most of them, I guess, appear to be black, amazingly. Now, uh, this is what I have to say about it, and I'm going to make it a short and sweet. Um, I'm gay, and I used to play football, and um, I did pretty well. And I was there with the rest of the guys. I spent three years in high school playing football. My sophomore team went 10-0. and We had the perfect record. We were like, you know, Don Shula's 1972 Dolphins or whatever. Um, so, yeah. Um, did I ever have a problem in a locker room? No. Um, did my teammates fear me? Not that I'm aware of. Everyone I've ever spoken to since then has never said they feared me at any time. Um, I wasn't always out. Actually, my football coach outed me my senior year and threw me off the team fearful for the other players. These same players that I was friends with and been playing with for three years. The idea was preposterous back in 1983. It's preposterous now. And it's particularly offensive when you have a black male or black males out there promoting this, this macho bullshit. Because if you remember 50 years ago, they weren't even allowed to play because they were black. Now they're out there saying, no gays? Really? Fuck you. Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. That's what I got to say about that. This idea that these pro athletes are somehow all heterosexual and they're all whatever is a lie. It's a bullshit lie. It's just like saying everybody in the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, Marines has always been heterosexual until Don't Ask, Don't Tell came along. It's never been true. There's been plenty of gay professional athletes out there. They're not out, but they're out there. Gays are like cockroaches. We are fucking everywhere. Fucking everywhere. And the idea that this is allowed in this day and age is shameful. And the fact that people like, let's say, Beyonce, let me call you up, girl, Beyonce, you're going to go out there and play for the halftime Super Bowl with this bullshit going on? Remember which side your bread is buttered on, darling. It's the faggots that made you. It's the faggots that keep you. And it's the faggots that could also destroy you. So, girl, you best be spitting out some, oh, my God, I cannot put up with this shit any longer kind of stuff. Because this is absolutely appalling. It's ridiculous. It's offensive. And the fact that it's coming from the San Francisco 49ers, really, the irony just smacks. Like the gayest city on earth. Like the, the center of the gay universe. Like where gr gay gravity is created. And they're going to go out and play this bullshit? Stupid. Ridiculous. Shameful. America should just turn off the Super Bowl this year. And just let it go one year with a really, 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 really low rating. And maybe we can make some progress. But if you buy into it and you just can't resist uh, watching it live, um, I'm sorry for you. And I'm sorry for every gay person that has to go through this. Because uh, I went through it personally myself. I normally watch the Super Bowl. I love the Super Bowl. You can... You can watch the Super Bowl after the fact, online or somewhere else. But if you turn it on live this year and you watch it, you're promoting this kind of hatred. And you're saying, yeah, well, despite all that, this is so important, this is okay. It's not okay. It's never going to be okay. It never was okay. Because if it was happening to you, straight folks, if it was happening to you, black folks, if it was happening to you, Asian folks, white folks, Whoever folks, Christian folks, if we're saying, oh God, no Christians in the fucking locker room, people would be up in arms. Nobody would turn on the TV on Sunday. But because it's gays, it's okay. Really. It's hypocrisy. People should turn off the TV, watch the Puppy Bowl on Animal Planet, 
And then if you want to pick up the 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 whatever highlights from the show later on, then pick up the highlights from the show. But as far as sitting there wanting to watch Beyonce, she can kiss my ass. I don't care if she takes off all her clothes, pulls her vagina apart, and shows us the inside of her colon. I don't care. The Super Bowl is like it's it's gross. I mean, this 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 player was bad enough that came out with these horrible remarks. But then the San Francisco 49ers, who made a video of It Gets Better, pulled the video because the people in the video said they had no idea that they were doing that and they don't support that. Really. You don't support that. So why the fuck should we support you and your fabulous lifestyle for just playing a game? That's what I think. Have a nice day.